Well, hello. Welcome to Quartz Corner, my vlog here on the Haunt Jaunts podcast. My name's Courtney Maroc, and I'm your host and guide at Haunt Jaunts. Uh, today, I want to talk about there's there's a lot of new horror movies that are you know coming out in theaters, but I wanted to talk about some of the horror movies and TV shows and Halloween specials that have recently been announced because a lot of uh, what would you call them? Different venues, I guess. Well, streaming services and such. Let's, I'll give you an example. So uh, Discovery Plus, Shutter, Amazon Prime, Netflix, they've all announced their lineup. So let's talk about everything we can watch from the comfort of our own homes for the Halloween 21 do we call it horror season, spooky season, spooky season? I love spooky season, but the the viewing that we will have at our disposal, we'll we'll highlight a few of those shows in today's episode. All right. Thank you so much again for joining me. And throughout, you'll notice that I'll have questions or questionnaires, as sometimes Blaine Thompson likes to joke me in the comments, which I appreciate that. I love comments. I try to get this interaction going with you. I just don't want to talk and not hear what you have to say on certain matters, too. So anytime if I ask a rhetorical question or sometimes you'll see me pop up a question, feel free to answer in the comments. And I always highlight um, or pin a comment in the comment section. So look for that. And sometimes it's one I've asked in here. Most of the time it is. Go, go ahead and let's talk. Let's have a dialogue. I want to know what you think too. So just so you know. And while we're here, let's just get this out of the way. If you haven't already, subscribe, like. It helps my channel out, helps me out, helps me grow. I'm, you know, just a little tiny, tiny seedling right now. So uh, not that growing is important. It's it's quality over quantity, which right now I have some really awesome people who I've already mentioned. I believe I just mentioned them. If I didn't, I was singing them in my head. Priscilla Bettis, Blaine Thompson, Mysterious Unknown. You guys, you comment, you talk with me, you hear what I say. It's awesome. So thank you. If you want to be like them, go ahead, be like them. They're awesome. Who wouldn't want to be awesome? <laughs> okay, so Let's talk about horror movies. Do you love horror movies too? That's the first question. <laughs> um, did I already joke about Sam losing my train of a shot? A tra train of thought shot. Maybe I had a shot and I didn't realize it like the drink shot, not the shot shot that everybody's talking about, uh, which will remain a nameless. We're not talking politics on this show. Anyways, um, the... Uh, Blaine Thompson teases me about questionnaires because I ask a gazillion questions and sometimes I <laughs> put a little questionnaire in the comments that I pinned that I just talked about, which I'm pretty sure I did just talk about. Anyways, okay. So do you like horror movies and horror TV shows too? If you answer yes, yeah, we're at the same club. Okay, so where's my teachers? They're on my head. Okay, let's talk. I'm not going to talk about everything that's being re released because that's a lot. But I'm going to highlight some that are sort of travel oriented or haunted place oriented that immediately caught my eye because those are kind of the ones that I like to watch the most, as long as they're good, of course. But um, being Haunt Johnson, traveling to haunted places and dealing with that sort of, you know, thing, the travel, paranormal mystery, like those the best. So let's check some of these out. Let's start with Shudder because that's kind of what sparked all this. And I believe it was Pamela K. Kenny. She's an author. She also has a YouTube channel. She sends a lot of links my way that, you know, some things I catch in my Google alerts, but some things I don't. And I think I actually, I did get something for this from Shudder that popped up, but I, I missed it. So she had actually sent something and that's how I learned of Shudder 61 days of Halloween, not just 30 or 31. Are you kidding me? 61 days of Halloween. It's already underway. And I need to remember to go into my list and put these on there because I haven't. And, and 
uh, this first one has already started, which immediately grabbed my, my attention. It's called Superhost. It premiered September 2nd, and it, here's its description. In Superhost, travel vloggers Teddy and Claire share their experiences in and around vacation homes with their subscribers while maintaining a moderate level of internet fame. When their follower count starts to dwindle, they pivot to creating viral content around their most recent host, Rebecca. With all eyes turned towards their super host, Rebecca, they slowly start to realize something isn't right. And as they investigate further, they unlock a horrifying truth. What will that be? Who knows? But Alex, that caught my eye. And of course, so did this next one, which premiered on September 9th, Martyrs Lane, which how many haunted ghost story things, you know, lovers lanes, haunted bridges, popular horror trope. So let's read what it's about. In this unsettling ghost story, Leah, 10, lives in a large old house with her family, but can't quite work out why her mother seems so distant. At night, she is visited by a mysterious guest who might be able to give her some answers. With a new challenge every night, Leah is rewarded with bits of knowledge that, when pieced together, threaten to shine a dangerous light on both the truth in her nightmares and of the world she lives in. Okay, so I guess that's not as much as a, a lane haunted road story, as much as a haunted house story, which eh, kind of, uh, I'm getting sort of an others vibe, maybe, where they're the ghosts living there or they're living with ghosts. I'm not sure. And then New Shutter series. Creep Show season three is back. Slasher, Flesh and Blood. Um, I'm not sure. It's about a wealthy, dysfunctional family that gathers for a reunion on a secluded island. Well, that actually does sound pretty good. Only to learn they'll be pitted against one another in a cruel game of life and death, all while being stalked by a mysterious mass killer. Oh, yeah. That's when I'll have to, I don't know why I'm still a sucker for slasher films, if it's done right. Oh, and another thing that Shudder is doing is they are honoring Hispanic Heritage Month. So they'll be, they also are going to show Bezel Booth, Bezel, Bezel Booth, Bezel Booth. That's a tongue twister with my brain and my mouth not wanting to cooperate. Dead tech, dead detectives, um, the funeral home that's from Argentina, good manners, La Llorona out of Guatemala, Lu lose the flower of evil from Colombia, Lucifina, Lucer, Luciferina, Luciferina is from Argentina, uh, the night shifter from Brazil, perfect from the United States, Terrified from Argentina, which I have seen, and that one, it doesn't end super great. I mean, the ending is actually pretty good as far as horror. It's hard to end a horror movie, really, but it, it is pretty good. It just sort of let me down a little bit, but actually, overall, that's one of the spookiest movies I've seen in a while, and really some pretty interesting effects, and Tigers Are Not Afraid from Mexico. Uh, muy bueno. Is that a real Spanish? We'll pretend it is. Um, and the untamed for me from Mexico also. So then they also list a whole bunch of, you know, popular classics, Carrie, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, The Haunting, the 1963 version based on, um, oh, what is her name? It's escaping me. Uh, the Hill, Haunting of Hill House, Shirley Jackson. That's it. Boom. Poltergeist. Um, and that's about it. Let's see. Well, they have a whole bunch more releases like every week through. So they'll be adding new new movies and new shows. But through from September through October. That's what I'm trying to say. I get so ahead of myself. I'm so excited about all of this. So that's Shudder. Check that out. And then we're going to quickly touch on Amazon Prime, which they're bringing, um, they're releasing four all new uh, Welcome to the Bloom House 
movies from Bloomhouse Productions. So there will be Bingo Hell, um, but it doesn't say when it will. Oh, wait, here. Okay, so Bingo Hell and Black as Night will be released October 1st, and Madres and The Manor will pre premiere on October 8th. So Bingo, Bing, Bingo, <laughs> Bingo Hell um, is a sinister figure threatening residents of a low-income community, but a feisty senior citizen tries to stop him. So go old people, because now I'm closer to an old person than a young person, so I like to see us represented. <laughs> um, okay, Black as Night. Um, it's a vampire movie. That sounds pretty good. Madres is about a young Mexican-American couple expecting their first child. So I wonder if they're doing that for Hispanic Heritage Month also, which is super cool to see that being resent, or resented, represented, not resented, um, represented and, you know, get it being more of an inclusive community where you don't have a token non-white person who's always the victim. It's very refreshing to see see the diversity in horror and, and everybody getting a storyline. Um, and The Manor, which Haunted House, you, you, you kind of always need one like that, but it's a malevolent force who, well, it's not a, it's not exactly it's it's not exactly a haunted house. Well, it is a haunted house movie, but it's in a nursing home. So it's a gothic tale of terror with a modern twist. Maybe those old people will fight back too. Come on, old people. Um, I don't know. We'll see. It looks it looks kind of interesting. So those are ones to also check out. And then we'll quick look at what Netflix is offering because Netflix. They've been doing horror pretty good, I would say. So Into the Night Season 2. So if you watch that series, it's back. Lucifer's back. Prey is a new movie, I believe. I believe it's a movie or a TV show. I'm not sure. But it's about friends who go hiking in the wilds and end up getting hunted. Mm -hmm. Oh, Midnight Mass. This will probably be an exciting one. It's from Mike Flanagan, who did Haunting of Hill House. And that'll be out September 24th. Lock and Key Season 2, if you are a fan of that series, is back. Escape the Undertaker sounds crazy. Um, in this interactive film featuring WWE superstars, Undertaker has set a trap for the decorated tag team, The New Day, at his mansion. What they don't know, The Undertaker's mansion is an extreme haunted house packed to the brim with supernatural challenges. It's up to viewers to decide the fate of these three poor souls trying to survive the wrath of The Undertaker. That sounds like it could generate a lot of conversation on social media and be kind of crazy. Night Teeth also is another vampire movie. So that premieres on October 20th. Sounds like we're heading back towards, you notice that sometimes we go one way. So seances, vampires, all the classic old school Halloween horror tropes are kind of coming back this year, it sounds like. That's pretty much it for Netflix or the highlights. I mean, there's there's more as 20, so we just touched on a few there, didn't we? Okay, so the next one to touch on is Ghosttober, which has previously been Travel Channel. And I was wondering what they would do this year with that because of Discovery Plus. The new streamer that launched this year has really disrupted the viewing, what's going to be where all that stuff so some things are premiering just on discovery plus then moving to travel channel later some things are you know concurrent premieres on both discovery plus and champ travel channel it's been a little bit of a toss-up so i was wondering how will ghosttober work this year well ghosttober is expanding it won't just be travel channel it'll include Food Network, HGTV, and Discovery Plus, in addition to Travel Channel. And they have 14 new series and specials 
that are going to come up. And one that's on um, Food, no, no, not Food Network, HGTV is with Anthony Anderson from Blackish and To Tell the Truth with his mom, who also joins him on To Tell the Truth, Mama Doris, who is awesome. Awesome. I love her sassiness. I want to channel that sometimes. They're going to be um, house haunters. And let me let me read what that says. <laughs> so house haunters throughout house haunters with dozens of hidden cameras in place and working from a nearby unmarked van. Anthony and Doris will scheme to scare, startle and surprise visitors to the homes executing humorous hijinks with creepy dolls come to life mysterious pets no mysterious pests pests p-e-s-t-s -S, on the loose home decor that has a mind of its own or seemingly haunted spaces so it's it's a um, home decorating hidden camera um uh, prank show so that's gonna be pretty i'm looking forward to that and i'm also actually looking forward to eli roth is going to be he's going to have a couple things he's teaming up with zach bagans to bring the haunted museum series to i think it's just to discovery plus let me see uh yes and it'll start on october 2nd with a two episode binge but he's also going to have Eli Roth presents A Ghost Ruined My Life, where he shares shocking stories of hauntings that have left emotional and sometimes physical scars on those unlucky enough to have experienced them. That sounds a little bit creepy and crazy. And so there's a lot. Ghost Hunters on Halloween will have a, a new season sneak peek. Jack and Kelly Osborne, Night of Terror. They're going to go to the Queen Mary. Uh, what else is on here? The Haunted Museum. Oh, Ghost Adventures will have the Goldfield Hotel new episode that'll um, start streaming. Start. I wanted to say start screaming because sometimes that's their tag for for the discovery, the paranormal and unexplained discovery plus paranormal and unexplained. Scream what you love. So um, that will start stre streaming on October 1st, um, where Zach and them go back to where it all started, which that was, I remember watching that and thinking, wow, this is really pretty good. Who are these guys? And now look at them. So let's see, um, Alaska Triangle, Paranormal, Caught on Camera, These Woods Are Haunted, they're all back. So Ghosttober 4, uh, Paranormal Programming, that's some of the stuff you can expect to see. So are there any shows or movies you're really looking forward to? Do you subscribe to Shutter or do you have an Amazon Prime membership so you can watch, you know, on Amazon, uh, Discovery Plus membership and all these memberships. But I kind of categorize it that uh, I haven't been spending money going to the movies. So anything I do is sort of my entertainment budget. Like I, I would spend probably up to 10 or more dollar. I mean, if I went to 10, like for a, what are those? What were they called back in the day? A matinee show. <laughs> um, maybe you could get in for ten or under dollars, but if you went to prime movie time, that who knows? That's expensive, and now it's been feels so much longer than just a year and a half since I've been to a movie. But anyways, that's that. So I I just count that what I pay what four ninety five a month for. Discovery Plus, or I think it's like 546 with tax, same with Shutter. I would easily spend that back in the day at Blockbuster renting one movie or so. Um, so yeah, so I just kind of chalk it up to that. So I do, I have all of those at <laughs> Discovery Plus, Shutter, Amazon Prime. I watch them all. Um, which is kind of sad, huh? But I love it. So if you love it too, or, you know, let me know, let me know which ones you're looking forward to, which subscription services you have. Do you think they're worth it? Do you, are you canceling? Are you going to get some for Halloween that you don't currently have right now, just so you can watch some things? Let me know. Or are you going to wait? Like I have another friend on Instagram, Michael, who he wanted to wait for the free trial of discovery plus which isn't a bad idea and then he just 
binges. So if you had like seven days to binge everything you wanted to, you probably could wait till after Halloween, get the free subscription and binge, 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 maybe during like Thanksgiving weekend or something, who knows? So that is one way to handle that. Thank you so much for tuning in and spending part of your day with me and answering any questions that I've asked. Uh, and just in general for liking, subscribing, if you do that too. Mostly, I just hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, evening, whenever it is after you watch this. And until next time, ciao for now.